Hi folks, this is Bruno Biava. Um, this is going to be a real quick and dirty video. Uh, uh, actually a customer advisory uh, from my point of view. This is the Horizon Harbor Tugboat by ProBoatModels.com 30 inch RTR model number PRB08036. Uh, I received mine uh, uh, this past Saturday. Um, I've spent the last few days evaluating it. I have some issues that I have contacted Horizon Hobby on. Uh, and I think that, how can I put it? I think that the public should be made aware of this. I don't want to make this video because the sad thing is this is a beautiful model to look at, but it's, it's got some serious issues. Um, number one. The transmitter that came with the boat has no place to mount a binding clip if you have an error and want to attempt to reconnect the transmitter. That's the first problem. Uh, number two, it's indicated to be a PR or PR or a what is it? HRZ, I'm sorry. HRZ0011 receiver. All right, which is what it's indicated to be in here. But when you check the uh, binding page, here's the page on binding. Take a glo close look, folks. There's where it shows a binding clip and uh, where to plug it in. It also shows a choice for whether you're running LiPo or uh, nickel metal hydride. Um, the instructions, just do this. You might be able to pause this and read it, but here's the instruction process real quick and why it's important to be able to bind. Uh, it also indicates a fail safe, but uh, it does not tell you uh, what all the error codes are. Now here's what happened. I ran this boat for a total of about four hours. Okay, and it ran pretty well. I was actually kind of impressed. It needed a little trimming, and I did some of that, but uh, everything ran. But I was, I was very, very lucky. I was actually doing a bathtub test when this happened. We're going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter. There you go. We're going to turn on the receiver. All right. And the receiver, I'm going to turn off the light so you can see it, is flashing an error message. All right. And that error message is not covered in the instructions. Okay. And like I said, there is no place in the instructions, or no place I should say, that it tells you in the instructions either how to get into this case, which I assume is waterproof sealed, without destroying it, does not resemble the, uh, uh, the uh, illustration that's in the manual. It does say it should be this model number but it does not resemble this receiver at all. Um, but we're powered up now. You can barely see the little lights flashing. Maybe. We'll go ahead and do it again. Here you can see the little lights flashing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the knob on the transmitter. And uh, you can see the prop, or actually, we're going to do the throttle. You can see the prop doesn't move at all. We're going to turn the steering. You're going to find out the steering isn't moving at all. Um, this is a big problem, folks. This is a big problem. Like I said, I do not want to think uh, that anyone would have to deal with this. Uh, whoops, sorry. Let me turn the light back on. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about was the water pump. All right. 
the water pump I got is wired backwards from what it should be in the instructions. Because when I tried to power up the pump, uh, the water is supposed to go in here and come out here, according to the instructions. What happened was the pump runs backwards. Now, I've disassembled this pump. It doesn't really matter if the water goes in here or comes out here because it's, it's kind of a, a, a pump like a roots blower. It looks like a couple of gears, and it works on the same principles as a roots blower. But here's the trick, folks. When I went to remove the tubing, this little cap comes off. And I don't know if you can see it, But that is one very sharp little barb in there, isn't it? That would make a very, very nasty impression in your thumb or wrist. Simply put, and this is a press fit. It did not break. It just simply was press fit on there. So, you know, if you try, it doesn't say anything about this in the instructions. You know, this little barb in here, any caution... You're just, you know, you will you find out the hard way, so to speak. There was no plumbing included with the boat. There was no binder clip for the receiver. It's not the same receiver as it says in the instructions. It failed after four hours. Now, those are the most serious things. There's some other things we may catch up on later. But I have contacted Horizon. They have acknowledged receipt of my uh, discoveries, and they're evaluating at this time. Um, this happened just about 24 hours ago, and uh, uh, when I say 20, that, that I acknowledge the receipt of, uh, of my email, I'm waiting for them to reply. It may take them a couple, three days to reply. Uh, I'm hoping that Horizon will make this right somehow. And when I say make this right, I mean that, you know, maybe somehow I ended up with the wrong receiver on my boat. But that pump definitely needs to be taken care of. They need to check to make sure the receivers are correct and that they are functional before they ship these things out. These are still available online. They are over, usually over $430. Um, they are not cheap. The unfortunate thing is, if they had built the boat up, left the water pump out, ran the plumbing, but left the water pump out and left the electronics out, and sold it as an almost ready-to-run model, it would have been excellent. The detail's good. It's You can see it's really not that bad. The paint is pretty crisp on it. Uh, it just... How can I put it? I'm just not really happy right now, and I'm concerned. Uh, you may not know it, but I'm very, very passionate about things maritime. I'm very, very connected, and I have been since I was a little boy. And my greatest fear right now is that there may be a child who is hoping for one of these for Christmas and uh, would get it and then have the same experience that I have. And I'm trying to do everything I can to uh, prevent the agony that child would have to go through or, uh, or their parents, for that matter, or those who love them enough to get them this boat. Um... I'm hoping Horizon makes this right. Um, I really am. Uh, I have tried to make them aware, and I have posted to their YouTube site and uh, ProBoat's YouTube site as well, giving an advisement. Uh, um, I hope you all find this useful. Um, oh, by the way, we'll do one more thing here. Let's take a look and see how much juice is in this battery so you can see that it's functional. 
Okay, so we unplug this. And we plug it into the smart checker per recommendations. We have 3.99 volts, which is a little low, but she should still function. 75% of power. Um, so uh, she should at least fire up. It was at, at full charge whenever this initially happened. But uh, uh, this is what, what's happening, folks. And uh, like I said, I don't want to make this video. I really hope... Uh, I really hope that the good people at Horizon uh, see it, or take and, and take my uh, take my concern seriously. Um, uh, that's really all I have to say at this point, and I'll try to keep you informed. Um, thank you for bearing with me, folks, and have a good night, and have a happy Halloween, Thanksgiving, and a Merry Christmas when it comes along soon. Thank you.